everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and welcome to Freshwater Friday. Today what I'm going to be doing is a little project. I want to say it's a do-it-yourself, and it's using light diffuser, plastic plants, and I'm going to make a koi hide. So my local fish store sold me this black light diffuser. I bought some plants. I think I have some more down in my workshop. I'm going to thread it through so it doesn't look like black light diffuser. So I have to go in there and make take some measurements for this project. I wish I had written broke down all the measurements when I was making it because it's not really all that hot out, but I'm making a hide for my koi and I'm going to use a light diffuser. And I'll show you. I'm using light diffuser and some plastic plants. But I have to know how big to make it. Ready or not, here I go. Koi, get out of my way. Oh, holy cold, Miss Batman. Okay, it's cold. Just in case you were worried, it's cold. So when I made the pond, I actually did make stepping stones in case I had it come in here, but this is as far as I got. I didn't make anything past that. This is level three. I'm on level three, and there's one, two more levels. Hey guys, don't be scared. So I'm thinking four foot would be good. I'm thinking this little square would work. Forty. So I might have to round it off. I'm going to put it here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm just going to do a dry run test to see, because I took the measurements and I don't know how to equate that to this, so I don't think my measurements work so good. Swimming with the fishes. So my goal is to put this down on extra rubber and rock so they can still get in and out on that side. But there, there will be a hide over here, so predator fish, I live between the river and a canal, so there's some predator birds swimming back and forth. So I think if I just nip off the ends a little bit, this will be great. It's perfect as is, except for the corner trying to squeeze through, like maybe they're not the sharpest tool in the shed. It's okay, baby. But I have no doubt that they will get used to it after I make it. And I'll sand the corner so there's nothing sharp. I almost fell. <laughs> We're not doing that kind of blooper. Oh, no, no. I'll save those bloopers for Michael's fish room. Is it still clear? Oh, look at that. I was walking around and it's still clear. I cut a little bit off of here in an arc shape. And a little bit off of here and then try to make this look as natural as possible. Except for there seems to be a sharp side. I'm gonna put the, sh if I put the sharp side up, the fish will get it. If I put the sharp side down, I can put the sharp side down if I line it with rubber. I'm gonna wrap it with rubber so it doesn't do anything to my liner. So this is gonna be harder than I thought. It's like I had to take it off and reconnect each one. Look how many there are. I'm thinking about getting some small zip ties maybe and just zip tying them, but it seemed like a good idea. Maybe I'll just zip tie it this way. Either way, poking each one through a hole to disguise that it's a light diffuser. Seems like an all-day job. I'll have to see how I, I'll have to think about this. So I think it's about done. After I cut off those ties, it was very sharp. So what I did is I put on one of these landscaping cloths. And I'm gonna go see if I can put it in now.
don't succeed, curse a little bit, fix it and try again. Okay, we're gonna try it again. I just took off about six inches. we have success now that I've made the water extremely murky let's take a look and see if we can see maybe we can't quite see to the bottom yet so now they have a hide let's see how it looks oh my goodness gracious that was not as Easy as I thought, but it was fun. So thanks for checking out my koi hide. Thanks for checking out my koi hide. Hopefully it'll work well. I don't want anybody taking away my fish.